Hey guys, this is Chris with Optimize OS, and today we're looking at a data recovery tool that will allow you to recover your deleted or lost files from Windows 10 operating system. And so what I'm going to do is take you and show you step by step in this video tutorial how to recover or delete lost files on your Windows 10 operating system using this tool. So the first thing you want to do is visit the link on your screen or just click the link directly under this video. It'll take you to this page and you can come here and click the download button to download this tool and this is a free version of Data Recovery Pro and what's great about this tool is that not only is it about half the price of all the other tools on the market but it works better in my opinion and before you buy it it will allow you to scan your computer or your devices such as your memory card, your USB drives digital cameras, iPods, flash drives, or whatever it is you have on your computer, it'll let you scan all those and it'll show you what can be recovered before you buy the software so you know if you're going to be able to get back your files or not. So once you come to this website, you want to click the download now button and you can see here they are a Microsoft partner. Um, you're not going to have to worry about any kind of viruses with this software or having any kind of additional uh, adware or anything installed on your computer like you do with many of the other tools on the market today. This one is clean. The only thing that you're going to get when you download this is the software itself, Data Recovery Pro. So once you download it, you are going to have an icon like this on your desktop. And once you install it, it's going to put an icon like this on your desktop. And we're going to go ahead and open it. And we'll give it a second to load. Okay, so when the software loads, this is what you're going to see. And on the left-hand column, you'll see that there's three different tabs. Normally, you're not going to be using the advanced or the email tab unless um, you want to use these options here, which, in my opinion, you really don't need to with the scan option or tab. And then there's the email button where you can use it if you want to recover emails from Microsoft Outlook from PST or OST files. So if you're not doing that, you can just click on the scan button here. And it's going to give you three options. You can do one, a quick scan, which will quickly scan your device or your drive to show you what can be recovered. You can do a full scan of your computer and all the devices attached to it. Now, this can take a long time to do. So if you have a lot of files on your uh, computer or devices, be prepared that it may take a day or even two. So I suggest if you do have a lot of information, uh, on your computer and your external drives that you do them one at a time so you don't have to wait uh, the full amount of time to get to see all the results. Then there's the guided scan and this is what we're going to use. So we're going to click on that and then click on start scan and it's going to bring up this page here and here we have three options. I want to recover items from my hard drive and obviously that is regarding just a hard drive on your computer. So you can recover items from a for, from your reformatted uh, hard drive or from an existing partition if you choose this option. Or you can choose this one if you want to recover lost emails. Or you can choose this option if you want to recover items on an external device such as a USB um, a memory a memory card or something like that, iPod, digital camera. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to check this box. And here we're going to see this device. This is my travel drive. This is a very, very old USB drive I got. You can see it's only about a 120 meg flash drive, which uh, seems kind of ancient today. So what I'm going to do is just check that box and get down here and click Start Scan. You can see it running through here and over here it's going to show you how many items it's found total on that flash drive. Now this doesn't mean all these items can be recovered because what happens is over time as these files are on your hard drive or your devices, um, you install other things on there and when these new things get installed they can overwrite the old ones and if that happens there it's, it's very difficult to recover the old files. So that's why it's really important that if you do have files that needs to be recovered, you try to recover them as soon as possible. That way you don't take a chance of overriding them with something newer that you uh, put on your, your drive. So we can see here found a total of 1,800 items. And it categorized everything for us. It broke them down and showed us, you know, how many images we have, documents, text files, presentations, folders. And it makes it really easy for us to find what we want. And it even has a filter box up here. If you know the name of the file you're looking for, you can search the filters here. But what we can do is go in the images. 
and you can see here uh, well, I told you these are old and here we go these files are clear back from 2005 so and and you can see that I, I can still recover them because if a picture comes up when you hover over an item it's the items recoverable and so if you hover over it and if it doesn't pop up then chances are you're not going to be able to recover it so we can go down through here and I just hover over each of these images and you can see that each one of them is going to come up and let's try a couple more okay so far all these images are coming up so even from you know back from 2005 2006 these files can be recovered and all I have to do to recover them is I can come over here and individually select the ones I want to recover and get down here and choose where I want to save these files once they're recovered and click on recover or what I can do is I can scroll back to the top and I can check the entire box here and that will allow me to recover every file within that category and what we can do is the same thing come down here make sure your location is where you want to save it and then click recover now the free evaluation version this is all all the more it'll let you do for free now once you see that the files can be recovered you would simply click on recover and it's telling you it must be registered and so what you want to do is go in here just put in your name your email address click submit and periodically they do have additional coupons and right now we can see here it's forty nine ninety seven and like I said this is about half the price of what most other tools are on the market I actually have quite a few of them and I keep going back to this one because this one seems to find all those files that the other ones can't find and so for fifty dollars it's a really good deal and then you can choose to get it for credit uh, on credit card or PayPal then once you do you'll just uh, they'll send you a um, a license code and you'll just put it here in this box and click OK and then once you do that you can go back and click on scan it's going to uh, leave off here where you left off before you clicked on recover and then it will let you recover at this time since you have a license code put in there so that's all there is to it to recovering files from your Windows 10 operating system and with data recovery pro you can recover those files from your hard drive whether it's been reformatted or not you can recover it from a USB drive, a memory card, a flash card, or even something that's connected to your USB drive, such as an iPod or digital camera. If it has some type of a memory to it, it's going to be able to scan that and show you what can be recovered. Now, do keep in mind, though, a lot of times, especially with SD cards and different types of memory cards and uh, flash drives, they can go bad and they will go bad um, and when they do your computer may not even recognize it when you enter in the USB drive and so if that happens um, it's not the software you know when, don't look at the software and say what's well, not recognizing my my device because what it is your computer is not recognizing the device because there's something wrong with the device itself and so if that's the case you may have to take it to a local computer shop to have the data extracted from it professionally but other than that if it's if it's able to be read data recovery pro should be able to read it and recover those files for you as long as they haven't been overwritten so with that said that's my review with data recovery pro and how to recover lost and deleted files from your windows 10 operating system I hope you guys found this re review helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. We'll have a lot more videos coming soon to help you with your everyday life.